Hello everyone. I cannot believe I am here giving a speech in front of you all, and I'm guessing most of you do not either. Never in my years here would I see myself speaking in front of you, but I guess it is still not technically happening. I'm honored to be able to speak to all of you, but I'm relieved that this is my first and last time. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank all of the parents and guardians who have raised and supported us. Thank you for allowing us to pursue our passion and excel in whatever we have chosen. We would also like to thank all of the faculty and staff for creating an environment in which we were able to shine. Thank you to all who have guided us along our path, keeping us going in the right direction and giving a little motivation when we started to slow down. I would personally like to thank my family, all of my friends, and specifically the Frau. A couple of weeks ago, I received a phone call from Mr. Edmiston. Really, it was my parents who received the call. I was still asleep, telling us that I was one of the top candidates for valedictorian. Naturally, I was happy to be receiving this honor alongside one of my great friends, Aiden Seiner. I worked hard throughout my time here, but deep down, I was nervous. This was a signal that life was about to start and that I had to write a speech, equal parts writing the delivery and the writing. I had no direction in which to take the speech. What lessons did I learn in my long 18 years of life that made me wise enough to share with you? So as any high schooler who did not want to do something, I talked to my good friend procrastination and decided to avoid it. Five years ago, as 8th graders, we entered the high school, unsure of who we were, looking at the seniors thinking they were ages away from being us. Looking back, those first days worrying about getting lost are very similar to the feelings I have standing in front of you today. Today is the last day we are considered high schoolers, and we remember everything that filled those memorable years. We remember the first of everything, the first game under the lights, the first play, the first dance, the first time we ate school lunch. We remember everything we did, but nothing we did not. A wise man by the name of Evil Knievel once said, I would always rather be in the arena fighting than be a spectator. Everyone knows him for his outrageous acts, but there is more to him than outrageousness. We shouldn't follow his lead, not the outrageous acts, but how he lived. He lived life without fear of doing anything, and neither should we. We should not fear to attempt the unknown, or to try what seems impossible. Now is the time to make mistakes and continue to learn, to find ourselves and our passion. We are missing a lot of last, last performances, last dances, last celebrations, last sports seasons. I want you to know one thing this year's baseball team, this was our year. But seriously, it is difficult not being able to make the final memories before we go our separate ways, even recognizing that there is nothing that we can do. If this time of uncertainty teaches us anything, it is that life carries on, whether we are ready or not. Don't wait for anything to happen in life. Go and explore. Make those memories, because nothing is guaranteed. As a class, we have people going to make an impact wherever they choose. We are military members, welders, teachers, scientists, and so much more. I believe that all of us would go on to succeed in whatever we choose. Just remember to do what you love and the rest of your life will be the perfect movie directed by you. And for those wondering how procrastinating went, not too bad. Thank you.